where's the money <laughs> where's the money normally the last part of question one is consumer arithmetic and that has been so for time immemorial but in this paper it was decided that there would be no consumer arithmetic in this part of the question so very interesting however consumer arithmetic techniques were still tested so we're gonna have a little look at this and see what we can do the stadium currently has a seating capacity of 15,400 seats calculate the number of people in the stadium when 75 percent of the seats are occupied so let's go so this is a simple percentage question 75 percent of a number so 75 percent of 15400 so this is 0.75 multiplied by 15400 calculate the number of people there's no tricks in the question there's not like two people per seats or anything so 0.75 multiplied by 1500 is what we'll go with so i'll use my calculator for that 0.75 or you can write 75 over 100 multiply by 15 400 and i get 11550 so there we go 11550 persons and you collect your one mark and you wonder why that came so easy and you go on with your life oh there's a second part of this the stadium is to be renovated with a new seating capacity so there's an increase in the number of seats after the renovation what will be the percentage increase so we didn't with an increase was the original number 15400 so original number originally we had 15400 um, persons or people in the stadium now we have 20,790 and it's a percentage increase question so that's a consumer arithmetic technique um to find the percentage increase you need to find how much increase there was put it over the original value multiply by 100 so the increase was 20,790 minus the original 15,400 divided by the original was the 15,400 and multiply that by 100. I am getting... Uh, 35%. <laughs> Daryl, good to see you. We here. So let's jump into the next part of this question. A neon light flashes five times every 10 seconds. Show that the light flashes 43,200 times in one day. <laughs> I love this comment. When students came out the exam with this question, everybody had a different way they do this question. And, and once you end up with the correct answer, you're good to go. All right, so let's say every 10 seconds, we have five flashes. So in one second, we can expect five over 10. Fine for one popular technique so five over ten um this is one second one second um one second five over ten so 0.5 flashes and how many seconds in a day well in one day we have 60 by 60 times 124 in one day we have let's get that number i, I suspect the number will be twice this should be 86,400. let's see yes so therefore there will be half this amount because every one second is half of a flash so in 86400 seconds we expect the 0 0.5 or the 5 over 10 multiply by the 86400 which is 43200 times um we'll have the flash it is proven right that's a symbol that's what we write for it is proven or another way we can do this is should i derive flashes 43,200 times in one day well every 10 seconds we have five flashes every minute we can expect well there are 10 seconds um so how many times 10 seconds fit into a minute six times so we should expect six times five flashes 30 flashes and how many minutes in a day well you could mul you could continue just multiplying um this by 60 and by 24 to end up so i could say every hour we expect 30 times 60 again uh what is this is this 1800 and then every day we expect the 1800 multiply by 24 hours which should give me 43200 flashes so however where you want to count up your where did I get the one? Well, the one not going to change anything. And I just say one second times 60 gives you a minute. The one, I can leave all the one if I want. 
So that brings us to the end of today's live. That's like one of the shortest lives we do in a long time. Crash courses will be starting this month, starting at $200 per subject. So you can um, investigate that. And we're doing crash courses in every c -sec subject. So look out for that. Remember to press like on the video. I'll see you again tomorrow. I'll be looking at some more consumer arithmetic questions. On Saturdays, I do SEA. On Tuesday and Friday, I'm going to do some Cape Biology for the Cape Biology students. If I come on tomorrow twice, I will be doing something for the AdMath students and maybe something for the PureMath students because I'm just increasing the pace of how many, how many things I'm doing as we go up to the exams. So love and blessings. Good to see everyone. This number on your screen here is the number that we use to register to classes. Till we meet again. See you all tomorrow.